Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Farley, Iowa for Vintage Torque Fest. This is one of a growing number of traditional hot rod shows that are springing up all over the country. I love these shows, but what's particularly cool about this one is it's being held at a dirt track speedway, so folks can take these rods out, do a couple laps if they want to later today. Now, they had some pretty significant storms last night, so that dirt track is actually a mud track. But either way, let me tell you, you're gonna see some wild machines here and some even wilder people. Hey, John. Hey, how's it going today? <laughs> it's going really good today. Absolutely. Yesterday wasn't quite so good. Uh, you know, a few inches of rain. A few inches of rain yeah. and a dirt track, you know, that can be tough. But uh, today... It's the, perfect. Yeah, we can't ask for better. It's, so, I mean, this was, a, this was a big deal. I mean, this is a first year show. It is a first year show, but we had help from the cheaters who've oh, done I, shows for 10 years. Know them well. And uh, Los Punk Rods out of Kansas City, they also have their Greaser Rum every, uh, every year. And uh, so those two car clubs kind of got together, said, hey, let's do this. Got the track ready. Here we are. I mean, you do shows all over the, the country all the time. I mean, this is really a, a growing part of the hobby. Absolutely. Uh, I think people are tired of the same old thing. And this is something kind of new, even though it was done maybe 40 years ago. So people my age, it is something new for us because my dad, we grew up with the muscle cars, mm -hmm. and so seeing this stuff is new to us, even though some, yeah. you know, my grandpa might have he already lived through that. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's referred to as traditional hot rods, of course, Absolutely. and 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 there are some truly traditional hot rods here. But then there's this wild, I mean, these just wild creations. I think it's, I like the engineering that goes on, and it's, it's some very unique stuff. And a lot of people think that if it looks rusty, that the fabrication is going to be not so high end. But I gotta tell you, these guys know how to put the cars together. There's some, there is some amazing stuff. And, and, and what I dig is that, that people are driving these things here from two, three, four hours away. And some of it through that storm yesterday. Absolutely, we had a guy here from Asheville, North Carolina. Drove in? 800 miles. <laughs> I think it's a, a testament to the fact that these guys are all about driving their cars. You know, I talked to so many guys who had their fuel pumps break down yesterday. Yeah. But these guys know how to fix it on the fly and that's it, they're on the road again, yeah. and they got here. You say half hour, 45 minutes, they might get out on the track? Uh, yeah, that's what they tell me. I think we're gonna be able to hit it out there. I wonder if I should get out there. I think we need to get you a car. Let's go check it out. Right. <laughs> well, Mike, this is really a sweet ride. When I saw this from a distance, I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was, you know, it's chop Ford. Uh, no, it's too wide. It must be a Lincoln Zephyr. <laughs> no, it's not that wide. So, you know, I came close, it's got Ford headlights. It wasn't until I saw the badging. It's a, it's a 41 Plymouth Business Coupe, right? Yes, it is. Man, yep. I mean, it's, it's really, this is a great looking car. Did you build it? Yeah, I built it. Been working on it about six years now. Yeah, That's a lot of work. Now, these weren't really that pretty a car. No, I always thought it kind of looked like an old grandma car. <laughs> what, yeah. pe what did people say when you bought it? I thought it was nuts. <laughs> wait, wait, you know, it what was are you sitting doing? really high. It was about a foot and a half off the ground. <laughs> yeah, and they're tall, too. They're really high. A big top hat on it. It <laughs> took about five inches out of the top. Really, five? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and, and this is a, it's a pretty flowing body, so that couldn't have been an easy drop. No, it's pretty hard. You know, you gotta do a lot of measuring. You know, you just don't start cutting the thing, you'll be having big problems. I love the color, too. Thank what you. Is, what's that? That's a 2009 Chrysler, uh, burnt orange. Yeah. Real popular on pickup trucks. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and the pinstriping, too, you've, you've got like four different colors there, you know, black, light gray, dark gray, kind of a, kind of a cream, but it all complements this this paint so well really sweet did you pick the colors or you got a you got a buddy that does this and you just turn him loose actually I, I, I only wanted two colors and my striper Ron wing he, he went crazy he added <laughs> two more kind of was getting me mad and when he did it but then as I stepped back I liked it a lot. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to kill him after all yeah I was thinking about it no, but I think no I think really the four colors it makes this thing so much more complex the more you look at this car really the more there is to see yeah there's a lot of little stuff everywhere it really is pretty much every part of the car has been touched yeah, I dig the interior, and it wasn't until I, I got in and kind of looked up. It's that leopard print uh, headliner that just, I think that's killer, man. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. I put that in there when I first did the chop. I just kept that little bit of the old with the new. But you kept a 41 dash, I like that. Yeah, I like when the dash looks stock. Yeah, well, you know, again, beautiful, beautiful lines flowing back here. Your club name absolutely cracks it. <laughs> Retarded Sparks, man. It's just, oh, it's it fits just us <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> so this would have been a flathead six, probably. Yes. Back in the day, and you, yeah. I'm sure you don't have that. No, I put a big block of 454 in there. Oh, well, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but why not? Why Shall not? we look at it? Let's have a look fit, at it. So I put it in there. Open it up, Mike. You get it. Oh yeah, man. Would the 454 come out of? No, oh, that's a crate motor. Oh wow, so yeah. it's a riding in style, huh? It's riding gear. I mean, she's just awesome. Close it up, Mike. 
Like a clo- treat it like a car too, don't you? Yeah, I I drive it. <laughs> and you and you did. You drove it out from uh, Chicago. From Chicago. Yep. How'd that go? It's like 200 miles. About 200 mile ride. That was wonderful until we just got here with the storm. But it got kind of rough last night, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it, yeah, it, did. it was a little yeah. rough. I don't see any windshield wipers either. No, head out the window, kind of. Yeah, I found if you <laughs> go fast going. enough. The... <laughs> yeah. Well, man, this this is this is one sweet ride. 41 Plymouth Business Scoop. Mike, nice work, buddy. Thank you very much. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Mitch, there's enough metal left here for me to recognize this as a Willys, but that's about it. What what are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at a 1947 Willys. It's the first year of uh, this body style for them. Where did you where did you find what was left of this car? Uh, truck? pulled what it out of uh, essentially a field in the backwoods of Missouri. So you really haven't done too much to clean her up, have you? No, just kind of left it how we pulled out. Obviously, we've hacked it up a little, made it shorter, but yeah. uh, as far as condition, that's how it came out. Man, but Mitch, <clears throat> this this is why. I stopped to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> is this is this an air-cooled diesel engine? Yep, it's a uh, Deutz air-cooled diesel. It's German. Deutz. 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 Why this engine, and where did you find this engine? Uh, well, why? Uh, I grew up as a farmhand in central Illinois and worked for a German family, and this is all they ran was Deutz tractors. Oh, really? Oh. You know, these are also in tractors. So I uh, just always wanted to stuff one in something, and this is what I chose. Where'd you find it? Uh, out of North Carolina. And how? eBay of all You're things. kidding me. Nope. What's this go for? It goes for a lot more than what I paid, but I only paid 300 bucks. You're kidding me. I was the only one that did all dog. Oh, <laughs> well, no, there, go figure. <laughs> is it is it turbocharged? Yep, turbocharged. Unbelievable. And I mean, can you open it up? I mean, does this open up? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so now, so this is all the, uh, the Yeah, this is all the air cooling. To air cool it. So each cylinder is individually cooled, and so that's not an air intake for the motor, that, for the engine, that's the air intake to cool it out there, the Correct. horns, right? Correct. Did you drive it here? Drove three and a half hours here from Chicago. You're kidding me. Nope. <laughs> did, it, this, did this like cause traffic accidents that just because people were gawking at it? Yeah, there's a lot of people that look back or follow me with a camera down the road for several miles. <laughs> it's, it's entertaining. It. That is totally insane. 47 Willys with a Deutz diesel air cooled engine. Yep. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Dean, this is a, this pops. Yes, <laughs> this it does. Is, this is a popping car. This is a 63 Chev. Mm-hmm. Four-door hardtop. Four-door hardtop, yes, sir. Man, that's a, I mean, that you don't see those really. Not too often. And you built this? Yep. You know, it's an original 89,000-mile uh, car. Is that right? That uh, we just uh, cleaned up and uh, Man, you did some, redid, yeah. Yeah, you redid the interior. This pops. It's very white. And nice job on bringing the interior color in all the way through the steering column and everything. It was quite a challenge, let me tell you. So you, how'd you do that? I mean, did you have to pull it out or did you yep. paint it in place? Nope. Everything was you pulled out. out and the interior was completely stripped and uh, we painted the lower part of the dash with the car the upper part and column were out of the car when i painted that so wow and then uh, 59 uh, caddy lenses yep absolutely <laughs> you can't go wrong <laughs> <laughs> yep modified them so that uh, the backup lights are out so that uh, all the lights work as stop lights or turn oh, lights i see okay you bet so it Wait, really glows in the back. They actually stick out farther than the bumper. You got to be careful. You got to be <laughs> real careful. <laughs> I've, I've knocked one or two off by accident. <laughs> now you say 89,000 original mile. Yes. What's the engine? It's a 327. Oh, that's my favorite Chevy engine. I like that. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, that's a that's that's a working engine. That right. is, yes. <laughs> Oil leaks and all. Man, this isn't even. I believe they were originally orange. Yes, yes. <laughs> originally. <laughs> but what the heck, it just gets the car around, that's right? That's right, that's right. I love it, great 60s custom, 63 Impala, Ford or hard time. Yes, love thank it. you. Well, Chip, this is a, uh, uh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a rat rod. It's a rat rod, indeed it is. Well, tell me about this, you built this apparently. Yes, I did. It is a 1928 Model A two-door sedan. Body's got a little rust in it. Where'd you find it? It does. I found it at a a Model A junkyard in Indiana. It's a, uh, it's where you want to go to to find any kind of Model A body. They got a bunch of bodies? Yes, they do. Wow. Just go, you just go pick the one? Yes. Wow. So why'd you pick this one? Because it had uh, the perfect uh, characteristics of a rat rod that I liked. I uh, didn't paint this body. This is just the way I bought it. Uh Uh-huh. One of the things I liked about this body is in the back of it, there's actually bullet holes from when this thing sat in a 
farm field years ago. Somebody used it for, for so target practice. So those are practice. real bullet holes. Those aren't, you yes. know, those aren't modifications. You can see under the primer, someone actually painted an X in the body and used it for target practice out in the field. <laughs> they weren't that good a shot, actually. No. <laughs> yep. You chopped her down, and this is this just your your seam where you? Yeah, it's the material that we that was left after we chopped it. We welded the top back together. And then just to make it look like it was all stitched back together, we just put that material back over the all seam and copper rivets. Copper right? riveted. Well, you yeah. know, that's what I like. But the, car, the whole car looks like it's literally stitched together. You know, yes. the top is off what? Uh, Dodge Caravan. Okay. And then you've done your typical rat rod uh, interior. You got uh, bomber seats. Yes, uh, a company called Kirky in Canada reproduces doesn't? those. Yeah, that's cool. Because they're getting hard to find. Yes. And then aluminum steering wheel. Yes, that is a sprint car steering wheel. I wanted to keep the uh, steering wheel nice and light because it was something I'm going to have to remove to get in and out of the car. Quick so release. yeah. Up front, she's sporting a Hemi. Yes, she is. Now, 331 or what, a small Hemi, what is it? Yeah, 1955 Dodge 270. It's a 270. That, that is truly the baby Hemi, isn't it? Truly. So 55, they only made that for a couple of years, right? Yes, they did. Wow. And you you drove this from Kenosha, Wisconsin, 200 yes. miles to Torquay. Yes, I did. Yep. To Farley, Iowa. Huh. Yeah. But I bet that created a stir out on the road. Yes, it did. <laughs> you got a great ride here. Thanks, Dennis. This thing's insane, man. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to my classic car. Roger, this is an insane. This is an insane piece. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I respect that too, by the way. But this thing is totally crazy. I saw you tooling around, uh, and I, man, I couldn't place a piece on it except for the the Buick, uh, Buick uh, yeah, Ventiports. That was the only thing I could actually recognize. But I guess you, what, you say it's a Ford truck originally? Right, 51 Ford cab. It's rolling art in its own twisted way. Your front end has got to be Peterbilt or what is that? The uh, grill. Diamond T. Diamond T? A guy told me 1955, but I'm not real sure. And the, this, is the, this is the Ford hood, right? Right. I just took the center out of it. Yeah. So it room for the carburetors. Oh, man, it's just, I mean, it's just such a wild... I don't know. I mean, the whole thing, the way it's formed is just so insane. Well, you get your lines right. Yeah? You know, to me, it's about lines and, and you know, it either fits or it don't. It don't look right. I like the, the door handles here from a, a house <laughs> and a bicycle tire for steering wheel. My daughter's uh, bicycle tire. She didn't <laughs> have a need for it anymore. Crazy shifter. Twisted. Uh, interesting. Uh, well, you got a dash up there, too, don't you? Yeah, well, it's pretty much uh, interior lights. Uh-huh. And uh, the bicycle chain up there as your on off. Air horn. Well, oh, air horn. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks it's styled, built for comfort. Styled too. after a big truck. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Styled after a big truck, but it's a little truck. Very short. Yeah. And what's the trunk? Yeah, I have a uh, gas tank in it. It's hiding the gas tank. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I like it. Fits and covers up some stuff. And you've louvered it all over the place. Uh, everywhere, you know, the roof, the back window, the tailgate. Uh, powering this. This insane machine is what? It's a uh, 427 Chevrolet. Open her up, man. It's called a tall block truck engine. Nice. Talk about torque fest. It's got torque. It's got torque. <laughs> and you you drove this here, right? Sure. You came from Spring Green, Wisconsin. Right. A couple hours away, hour and a half, couple hours. And you towed a trailer. Camper. Camper. And you and you actually camped out last night, you and your yep. wife, in that storm. Yep. How'd that go? We survived. <laughs> you having a good time at Torque you Fest? You betcha I am. It's a, it's a good time. And if they open up the track, you're going to take it out? Sure, I'll do that. And I know you don't I know want, you to, want to see it out I there. I know you don't want to get it I'll dirty. I'll let you drive it out there if you want to. <laughs> It'd be great Roger, watching man, my car. This is one bad mamma jamma here. I, Thank you. <laughs> I like this, It looks baby. bad, you know. It looks bad. <laughs> oh, man. Vintage Torque Fest here in Farley, Iowa is an absolute blast. Great cars and great people. Now we're out on the dirt track. This is living, and I'm gonna check our marathon. Taxi, taxi.